welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is emily jean i never ever do get ready with me's like this like i'm truly in the moment about to get ready to go to the train concert tonight i'm very excited i've seen train before it's one of my dad's all-time favorite artists and i love him just reminds me of my childhood so kyle and i are going tonight we're going to meet my dad there it's at dte music theater which is a pretty popular like outdoor theater in Michigan and I'm extra excited because I haven't been there since before COVID. Over three years and just the vibes at DT are very specific. I grew up going there. I've been to so many shows and I'm just really, really excited. So it's 5.30 now. I want to leave by 6.30. I already know we're probably going to be a little bit behind, but if we can leave it latest by seven that should work i don't really know the openers so i'm not too worried about that as long as i can enjoy some daylights in the golden hour of the concert that's all i'm really worried for timing wise we're gonna get ready together i need to do my hair first um i'm gonna try and keep this video concise but still just like truly getting ready we're gonna do our hair gonna do our makeup gonna pick out an outfit i have no idea what i'm going to wear i just finished eating my dinner some mushroom soup so i feel like i smell like mushroom and garlicky even though you guys can't tell through the camera i feel like not clean even though i just showered and did my skincare and all of that so to start for hair I'm thinking I might just straighten it because I need something quick. At least start with straightening it. If I have time, I might throw a curl in it. But normally when I curl my hair, I straighten it first anyways. So we're gonna start with this. My hair is just like natural. I haven't styled it for the past few days. I washed it, I think on a Sunday. Today's Tuesday. I'm gonna straighten it with my Argan Heat flat iron. I've had this thing literally for years and years and years. The only products I'm going to use is my IGK Good Behavior. I love this. A keratin-like treatment, 24-hour frizz control, and a 450 heat protector. So I kind of just use it all the time. Um, and yeah, my hair is crazy. Shake it out. I kind of need some dry shampoo, but I don't think I have any. So... Spray this all over my hair. Because this is a real get ready with me, it's not a tutorial. So if I'm doing something weird or like not normal, just don't worry about it. And I'm probably not gonna explain every little step. Because again, this is not a tutorial. I really wanna do my hot rollers because I haven't done them in so, so long. I was really getting into my hot rollers and it kind of just takes like some practice. I don't think I've used them since like before Dallas. I was even wanting to pack them with me to my trip to Dallas, but obviously that was not gonna happen. I just haven't used them. I really wanna use those. They just take a little bit of time. So I'm not gonna be able to do that today. Whenever I style my hair, I always section it from like the top half of my hair and the bottom. It makes things a lot easier for me. So I am going to start straightening at the bottom and then I'll move to the top. I think I'm gonna speed through this and listen to some music. Let's go. Just a little bit more pulled together. I wish I had 
some more volume up here, but I'm gonna keep the hair like this. I think we should move on to the makeup because that probably will take the majority of the time. Let's go over here to the vanity. I always do my hair in the bathroom just because my hair stuff is in here. And then right through here, we are in my little vanity corner. I'm gonna show you guys the reality of what it looks like when I'm getting ready for the most part. Even in some makeup videos sometimes, I usually clean it all before when I'm like really filming. But day to day, this is what this corner looks like and thank god it's like separate from the whole apartment because I rarely clean this area like this is the last area I will ever clean in my apartment when I'm like trying to make it look good so anyway this is what we're working with it's definitely not that fun to get ready with this chaos but it's kind of just the reality of it when I'm getting ready every day it's like I can never just put stuff back while I'm doing my makeup. I just really get in the zone. It would be such a waste of time to clean it every single time because it always ends up looking like this. So yeah, my jewelry, the perfume, the whole little beauty corner is a little bit crazy. But I'm going to turn on my lights. And I need to get my beauty sponge dampened. This is the amazing uh, tripod you guys are sitting on. Some toilet paper and a speaker. I should literally name this video like unedited get ready with me or something because <laughs> this is like the reality of it. Normally I name like any videos of me doing my makeup a get ready with me but it's not really get ready with me because I plan to film. This is like me really getting ready and on a time crunch and like I actually have to go somewhere. So I'm gonna get this dampened and I'm also gonna grab a little wine seltzer to get myself started for the concert, pregame a little bit, you guys know the drill. I do have my water as well, staying hydrated with that. Dampened sponge, I usually like to grab a towel when I'm doing my makeup. Kind of like use it to wipe my hands and such. Okay, I got my little wine seltzer. I picked these up the other night because I'm too scared to uh, by alcohol myself, like the hard alcohol, so this is literally all I have. And it's really not that great, but I'm gonna drink it anyways. I'd rather have like a wine seltzer than, I don't like all those like white cloth seltzers because it doesn't tell you what actual alcohol is in it and I don't like that. If it's like a tequila seltzer or something specific, then maybe I'll drink it, but, well, I'll drink anything. I sound really snobby right now, just what I would typically choose or buy myself is what I'm talking about. Anyways, this is still fine. It gets the job done. And I always spill on myself. Okay. To get the hair out of the face, I am going to put this headband in. I'm gonna attach my mic real quick because I'm sitting next to my AC unit and I am not gonna turn my AC off because I'm already sweating. So let me add my mic. I hope that will make a difference for you guys. Okay, the sound and the volume should be better. Please let me know down below if you guys can actually hear a difference. Let's get into the makeup. I am obviously gonna speed through a lot of this just because it would take forever. I'm not gonna like sit down and tell you guys every single detail. But to start, I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty Primer because it's in front of me and it's what I see first. This is a great like pore filling, smoothing primer. Plus I already did a bunch of skincare before this. Feels amazing. Of course, I'm gonna add some lip plumper to start the look off. I'm gonna show you the face products I'm gonna use and then I'm gonna speed through each step. For foundation, I'm gonna go in with my Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. This is a great, lightweight, easy, thin foundation that really gives me a nice, even look. No SPF, great for nighttime, but still really lightweight. And then to stay in the Dior theme, I'm gonna go in with my Forever Skin Dior Concealer. I love this concealer. I also love the matching foundation to this, um, which is just like a step up in coverage from the face and body. So keeping the face a little bit lighter tonight with this concealer. I'm all out of my Juvia's Place powder, so for powder tonight to set, I am going to use a True Girl Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Okay guys, 
I switched you over here for a new angle. I just finished my brows and now I'm going to do some contour, bronzer, blush action, finish off the cheeks. So for bronzer and contour, I'm gonna keep it classic and going with my hula. And for blush, I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Place Blushed Rouge Little Blush Palette. This is volume two. I actually bought this for my makeup kit, but every once in a while, I like to grab it and use it. It has two nice, really different shades, a nice bright baby pink and then a nice deeper coral. So I love to layer these because they add two great colors to the cheeks. Okay, I'm gonna speed through this process. and blush um, I think I'm gonna speed through the rest of me doing my makeup just because I have to hurry up I'm really just gonna do some mascara maybe a few brown shadows in the crease like keep it very simple I'll come back to do the lips on camera with you guys I have so many makeup videos on my channel if you guys want to see more detailed stuff so let's speed through this sip of the wine simple kind of everyday type look I do. I just did some winged liner using that brush and some shadow. So that's all I'm going to do I think. That's all I really have time for. I'm going to line my lips. So for my lips I'm going to use my 09 Spice from Milani Lip Liner. You guys know this is my go-to and I'm going to do my regular overline. Okay, then just to add some pinkiness and a little bit of like brightness color to the lips, I'm just going to top off my lip liner with this lip gloss from Pat McGrath in the shade Prima Donna. Um, I love this gloss. It's like the perfect kind of bubblegum pink without being like too neon. And they're super shiny. It's exactly what I wanted. Guys, look how glossy that is. These glosses are so freaking good. It like smells like vanilla too. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, the makeup is done. I'm gonna go over into the bedroom and we're gonna figure out what to wear. I will show you guys the whole process. Take this out. I'm gonna have to like fluff up my hair, brush it out and all of that. But let's go to the bedroom to pick out an outfit. Welcome to the bedroom. I have no idea what kind of look I want to do. I'm kind of thinking like summer dress because it's a summer concert night, but then I'm also thinking like baggy jeans, small top for more of like the chill rustic vibe of Train. I don't even know like what category you would say his music is, like rock, pop. I have no idea. That's like bad of me, but it's very just like easy going music. I love this like puffy little white dress. I think this could be cute if I like pair it with some boots. Edge it up a little bit so that's an option. I've had these pants forever. They make my butt look super good. <laughs> They're like a flared really fun comfy pant. This would be really cute if I find the right sort of top to go with it. I have this super cute top from, it's actually from Zaful like years ago. And I think I've worn it a few times, but it's never like fully got its moment. Like I have no cute pictures in this. I feel like this might look really good with those pants. 
but I might want something longer with them. And then I have always wanted to wear these green shorts that I have. I could do these like fun little green shorts with this top. I know they don't like perfectly match, but for some reason I love how they look together. I think I'm gonna give you guys a little like fashion show, kind of flip through some looks so I can play around with actually trying stuff on. I'm sorry, I'm in such a freaking hurry. It's 6.45, so technically I have 15 minutes. I said the latest at seven. Kyle's still technically working right now too. He's like had to finish stuff up, so. Technically, I'm not late. I have time because of him, but the sooner we leave, the better. Um, let me open some more blinds, make it brighter in here, and we'll cue the little fashion show, and hopefully we can find something that feels right. I'm finally ready. I picked out one of the looks including this top as you can see. I just added my Versace sunnies I have orate hoops or a little chain or a ring all really pretty gold jewelry I also have this cute little love bracelet from little words project. I've had this forever I will have their website linked down below. They make really cute little bracelets and I'm gonna wear the pants I think this is super fun and cute. The top actually matches like my nails and all the pink vibes going on, which I didn't like intentionally do, but it worked out. I'm gonna carry this pink little bag, something small for the show. I think it's Nasty Gal, these pants. Every time I wear them, so many people ask. I got them at Rococo, which was an old boutique I used to work at that was local. They had an online shop, but now they don't exist so i wish i could find these pants they're actually just like super comfy ribbed tote pants with the flare bottom i'm wearing my chunky white princess polly little shoes i love these shoes just because they give me so much height and they're honestly really comfortable to walk in. Then obviously at the top is Zaffel, which is kind of the star of the show. I am really loving it. I feel really confident and cute, and I honestly would not be wearing this outfit if I hadn't. You guys, I'm getting confused because I've been vlogging today too, kind of talking about how I've been going to the gym a lot more, but I just wanted to say I probably wouldn't be wearing this outfit or be feeling this confident if I hadn't gotten a few more workouts in than normal meaning going from not working out at all to i've been working out for the past like two weeks pretty consistently and i've already just feel it's not even that my body has changed so much i just feel so much more comfortable a little bit stronger a little bit tighter all of the things and yeah i feel like this is one of those outfits that i probably wouldn't have worn if you told me to like three weeks ago so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this full get ready with me. I'm still finishing my wine. I'm kind of like heated right now. We need to go downstairs, get in the car, and head to the show. I am vlogging today, so the actual concert and that part will be in a different vlog. I will link it or let you know when that's up depending on how these videos go. I have no idea what's going up at this moment, but I am vlogging, going to the concert, so I'm going to flip over to the vlog. Now, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this like more real time, kind of chaotic get ready with me. Please let me know down below in the description box. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button. Follow me on other socials at Emily Jean Beauty. This is honestly a really fun video to film. Um, it feels very like realistic because I didn't worry too much about the backgrounds and little things like that that I normally do. So please let me know your thoughts. I love you guys so much. Always so grateful for you guys watching any parts of my content or channel or videos or whatever it is. Um, I love you, whether it's your first time or you've been here from the start. That is it. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!